Hello children, in this video I am going to explain you about arithmetic progressions means introduction to arithmetic progressions and in the coming videos I am going to explain whole chapter of arithmetic progressions and the important sums of the arithmetic progressions which are means from the arithmetic chapter progression chapters you are going to get four marks important questions in the exam so I am going to explain you those sums also so if you want to get the next videos notification you have to subscribe my channel so please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button to get the notification of next videos and if you like this video please like and share to your friends okay, now we'll start the introduction to arithmetic progressions first we'll set some of the numbers here first we'll consider some of the set of numbers okay 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Okay, next two, I will consider 2, 3, 5, 8, 12, 18. Next two, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Next two, 1, 5, 7, Okay, first number set of numbers you consider will find the difference of the second number minus first number means second number minus first number if you do 3 minus 1 if you do what you are going to get it difference so 3 minus 1 is 2 will get it 5 minus 3 is also 2 7 minus 5 is also 2 here 9 minus 7 is also 2 just observe in the second set of numbers 3 minus 2 is 1 correct. 5 minus 3 is 2. 8 minus 3 is 8 minus 5 is 3. 12 minus 8 is 4. 18 minus 12 is 6. Okay. Next we'll see here. 4 minus 2 is 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. 8 minus 6 is 2. 10 minus 8 is 2. Here you observe. 5 minus 1 is 4. 7 minus 5 is 3. 8 minus 7 is 1. Okay, in the first set of numbers, observe here, second number minus first number is also 2, third number minus second number is also 2, third number minus, sorry, fourth number minus second number is also 2, fifth number minus second number is also 2, means here you have same difference, difference is same, so common difference we got it. Same difference is also called as a common difference. Here you observe, difference is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Here differences are different means in the set of numbers we will write continuously you know second number minus second first number third number minus second number like that continuous numbers if you are subtracting you are getting common difference huh? means same difference you are getting in the first set of numbers in the second set of numbers you are not getting same differences means you are getting different number okay in the third set of numbers you observe again here also we got a common difference means 2 is a common difference here. If you subtract second number minus first number we got 2. Third number minus second number also we got 2. So these are called as a common differences. Here also different different differences means if you subtract second number minus it means if you subtract second number first number means we got 4. Third number minus second numbers means 3. It's different differences we got it. So so these are same these are different means you are not getting common differences so if you get a common difference in the set of numbers that time we can call this these numbers as arithmetic progressions so the set of sequence of numbers are called then sequence of the set of numbers or sequence of numbers are called arithmetic progression they are in the arithmetic progression these set of numbers are in the arithmetic progressions having a common difference common difference is what here 2 2 is called as a common difference and it is denoted by d common difference is denoted by d here common difference is 2 okay here no common difference so it is not a ap this is ap because common difference is 2 here here this is not a ap and here also common difference is common difference is denoted by d i told difference and common should be there then only we can call this set of numbers are in the arithmetic progressions this is also not a not an ap okay 
one more set of numbers i will just take and tell you okay uh, okay 1 5 9 13 okay, like this oh see here 5 minus 1 is 4 9 minus 5 is also 4 13 minus 9 is also 4 means here common difference is what d is what 4 okay this is also arithmetic progression this these number of set this set of numbers are in the arithmetic progressions so d is 4 okay if it is in the arithmetic progression these set of numbers are in the arithmetic progression i told you first number is called as a first term these numbers are called as a terms now in the arithmetic progressions these numbers are called as a terms first term is represented by a1 or a you can use two symbols for the first term that is a1 or a second term is represented by a2 third term is represented by a3 fourth term is represented by a4 like that we will get nth term also nth term means it may be anything it, if, it, if it is containing 10 terms means 10th term like that the set of numbers can may contain any set of any numbers okay now first term is present by a1 or a second term by a2 third term by a3 and fourth term by a4 and this is in the ap arithmetic progression so if you want to get a common difference what you will do second term minus first term means 5 minus 1 we will do it or 9 minus 5 we will do it and 13 minus 9 we will do it so if you want to find any set of numbers are in the arithmetic progression or not means you have to find the difference of the second term minus first term third term minus second term fourth term minus third term at least two differences you have to check and you have to tell it is in ap or not okay always you should do that so now i told you how to represent the terms of the ap now generally how we will find the common difference i will tell you we will find a2 minus a1 is also d a3 minus a2 is also d or a4 minus a3 means always next term previous term next term previous term differences if you find and if you are getting common difference then only we can call this set of numbers are in the arithmetic progression this common difference is represented by small d and first term represented by a second term by a2 third term by a3 fourth term by a4 nth term by a n first term is a1 so now we got what is the arithmetic progression means now just we will see the definition of the arithmetic progression okay arithmetic progression definition we will write it an arithmetic progression is a list of list of numbers list of numbers in which in which each term is each term is obtained obtained by adding by adding a fixed number fixed number to the to the preceding 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 term except the first term except the except the first term see observe this definition an arithmetic progression is a list of numbers these are the list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number fixed number means what here common difference is also called as a fixed number common common means fixed it is so only it is called as a common difference fixed number to the preceding term means previous term except the first term 
each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term except the first term. Means first term we will consider. After that, here fixed number is what? 4. 4 we added to the first number means we got 5. So next number we got it right. So only another the progression is a list of number in which each term is obtained. Next term is obtained by adding a fixed number. Fixed number is 4 here. 4 we added so we got 5. Next number if you want to get again you have to add 4 to the 5. Then you will get 9. Next number we got it like that. Fixed number if we add to the preceding means previous term. This is a previous term we added 4. We got 5. Now it is a previous term we got added. We added 4. We got 9 like that. Means the except the first term. First term you have to consider any number and we should add the fixed number. Then you are going to get the set of numbers. Those set of numbers are in arithmetic progressions we can say. So that fixed number is called as what? So we will write that just. The fixed number is called. Okay. You can see right. Okay. The fixed number is called. The fixed number is called common difference is called common difference common difference and is denoted by and is denote and is denoted by d small d okay just you should write from here you should write in the classroom Okay, you should write the definition and common difference is denoted by the small d and it can be and it can be positive, negative means negative or zero. Okay, they are telling means that fixed number can be positive, negative or zero. How it is? I will just take some examples and explain you. Okay. I'll write some examples here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Just you observe and tell me here what is the common difference. 2 minus 1 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. 4 minus 1 is 4 minus 3 is 1. So common difference is 1. D is 1 here. Means D is positive here. Second example I'll consider. 100, 70, 40, 10. Here. 70 minus how much we will get it? Sorry, 70 minus 100. 70 minus 100. Here bigger number is 100. Means you will get minus 30. Right? 70 minus 100 is minus 30. You are going to get 40 minus 70 is means you always you should do second term minus first term. Remember that. Next term, previous. Next term, minus previous term. Always remember that. Don't do A1 minus A2. A2 minus A1 only you should do it. To find a common difference, you should do second. Next term, minus first means previous term always. That you keep in mind. Next, 40 minus 70 is minus 30. 10 minus 40 is minus 30. Common difference is minus 30 here. So, here it, fixed term is negative. So, only they are telling it may be positive, negative or 0 they have given. Why it is 0? We will just consider it. Okay. Minus 3. Here, one more example I give you. Here, what is a common difference? Just you think and okay, think about it. See here, I have written minus 2, minus 3. Minus 2 is here a1 this is a1 this is a2 this is a3 a4 like that okay it, it will continue like that only negative numbers will it will come positive numbers next next numbers will come positive because zero after zero we'll get the positive numbers okay minus 2 minus 3 this is a2 this is a1 just you observe while finding this you should be very careful signs are very important in the mathematics minus 2 okay minus 2 a2 minus a1 we will do right a2 minus this is a1 is minus 3. a1 is containing minus sign. So, you should write with the sign. I am putting in the bracket because it is containing minus. So, minus 2. Minus into minus will become plus 3. So, what you are going to get it just to tell me. Minus 2 plus 3 is 1. Okay. Next, we will consider a3 minus a2. This is a2 minus a1. We did it. Right. Next, a3 minus a2 will do it a3 minus a2 a3 is minus 1 here minus 1 minus of bracket i am writing because it is containing minus 
ओके माइनस वन माइनस ऑफ माइनस इज प्लस टू हियर ऑल्सो यू आर गोइंग टू गेट वन सो हियर कॉमन डिफरेंसेस आर पॉजिटिव लाइक दिस यू शुड डू यू हैव टू फाइंड द कॉमन डिफरेंस इफ नेगेटिव नंबर्स आर देयर यू शुड पुट इन अ ब्रैकेट एंड डू इट सो इफ यू नो डायरेक्टली यू कैन राइट इट बट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू फाइंड इट ओके दैट इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट ओके नेक्स्ट वील कंसिडर द फोर्थ एग्जाम्पल इट इज थ्री कॉमा थ्री कॉमा थ्री सी हियर कॉमन डिफरेंस थ्री माइनस जीरो इज जीरो थ्री माइनस थ्री इज जीरो थ्री माइनस थ्री इज जीरो हियर कॉमन डिफरेंस कैन बी जीरो ऑल्सो सो दीज टर्म्स दिस टाइप ऑफ अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन आर कॉल्ड कॉन्स्टेंट ए पी हो ओके आई डेंट टेल यू वन थिंग ए पी मीन्स ए पी इज अ शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन यू कैन कॉल दैट एज ए पी दिस टाइप ऑफ अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन आर कॉल्ड कॉन्स्टेंट अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन आर कॉन्स्टेंट ए पीज रिमेंबर दैट Okay, these are the examples for the arithmetic progressions. And uh, why I am giving these examples? Why it is? It may be positive, negative, or zero also. If it is zero, means we can call that as a arithmetic progression. Some sometimes they will ask in the multiple choice questions. So some like the sequences they will give. And what is the common difference? They may ask you. So that time it is a zero. Remember that. This is minus one, minus one point five, minus two point zero. Minus two point five. Okay. Now, just you observe here. This is a one. This is a two. This is a three. This is a four. We'll find it. A two minus a one. A two is what here? Minus one point five. Minus of minus one point zero means one only. It is remember that. Minus of minus is plus one. Minus one point five minus plus one. It is minus one point five is having is a bigger number. So minus point five will get it. Next. A three minus A two will do it. A three minus A two. A three is minus two point zero minus of minus one point five. Again, you are going to get minus one point five. So here, common difference is minus point five. So it is also negative. If it is in the point, just you keep in mind. If you do correctly subtraction, then only you should will get the common difference. So if you want to identify whether the given sequence is AP or not, you have to find the differences and tell if it is common difference. Then only we can say it is arithmetic progressions. Okay. Uh, now in the next video we are going to study about the these are the examples. Just you write the examples one, two, three, four, five. These are if you want you just write in the working column. Okay. In the next video, we'll study about the general term and general form of the arithmetic progressions. Okay, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe my channel and click on bell button. If you want to get the notification of next videos, thank you. Bye.